Good morning, it's another great day in Anza Borrego, Desert State Park. We're still at Bow Willow Campground. This is day five of our trip around Anza Borrego. Isn't this gorgeous? Yesterday we hiked out here to Palm Groves. This is Bow Willow Campground. Today we're gonna hike So we're starting way. the trail. Out here from Bow Willow Campground. We'll head up here to Bow Willow Grove, Palm Grove, out to the rock house. See lots of cool plants. We got our cheese bush here. Right there, cheese bush. We have our creosotes here. Laria tridentata. A little facilias. These guys. Do they curl over? Little scorpions or caterpillars? Always from our barrage family. All right, we have our choyas here. The rock daisies growing up here. We got a great little jojoba. Over here's a chuparosa. Right here. Wow. There's our jojoba. All right. Great little guy. Beautiful. Look at these little flowers coming in. See that? Wow. So this is a female. What happens is, see how aerodynamically these little leaves or little uh, extended petioles are? And they kind of wave the pollen around from the male and they get trapped right in the little female flower there. What else we got? We got our acatillos all along the hillside here. And of course we have our little Encelia brittle bush. So he's uh, not flowering yet, but all his buddies are flowering. We'll find some more along the trail, like this guy here, Encelia farinosa. It's our brittle bush. Beautiful, beautiful flowers here. It's called a brittle bush because uh, here's from last year. He's uh, it's real brittle, see that? Just breaks right off. Brittle bush. We can continue up the trail here. This guy here is a Cryptantha. These little popcorn flowers, I call them. See? He's like a little Facilia barrage. Here we have a beautiful Chuparosa. Look at that. Little hummingbird plant. And over here, where did he go? Here he is. This guy's called a broom rape. He's a root parasite. I'll get a better one later on, but he digs way down and he taps into a neighboring plant like this guy here, this brittle bush. And he'll uh, just suck all the nutrients. He's got no chlorophyll, so he likes to get all his nutrients from his little neighbor's roots. His little cheese bush here. Up through this whole trail, it's not very well marked, but you can find it. You got this shrub here, all blocking the way. It's kind of thorny. Just kind of guarding this little pathway. Looks like we had a fire here too. See that? It's all burned out. Looks like they kind of rushed down this area. And all these little pioneering plants came in. Look at all this beautiful false mustard. These guys are great. So here he is when he opens up. Check, look at that. Four little petals, go stamen, anthers, pollen all sticking up there. Little red dots at the bottom of the petal. Wow, he's great. Here, this guy here, he's a brown-eyed evening primrose. Kylismia claviformis. It's also called a Pearson's brown-eyed evening primrose. This is the yellow variety. There's other colors like white or pink. Depending where you are in Anza Borrego, you get different colors of this pretty little evening primrose. Here we have another little Facilia. Check them out there. This guy here, he's beautiful. He's called a monkey's bigelow. These beautiful trumpet-shaped tubular flowers here. Look at that. 
They open up to that little yellow inside. Absolutely beautiful little guy. He's got these really herbaceous, fleshy purple stems. Come up to these opposite leaves here. A little bit ovate. Okay. And then they come up here to these pretty little flowers here. Wow. Little Bigelow's monkey flower. Check this out. Big old Ocotillo Forest. Fuchiaria Splendens. Wow. You got one here. It's kind of starting to bloom. See that? We got our creosotes. Over here is our beaver tail cactus. Okay. Opuntia basilaris. Touches little stamens and they kind of move on their own a little bit. Trying to envelope a pollinator. Over here we have a barrel cactus. And he's leaning south like they all do. Look at that. Feral cactus. Cylindrosius. He's got these beautiful flowers on top. Coming in. And his flowers like to be on the south side as well, mostly. See that? Not so much on the north. He's got these long central spines out of each aerial that grow way out. They're white. A little brown tip, a little purplish, and then you turn a little bit brown on the end of our barrel cacti up here. Here's a little chicory growing up here on our path. Look at this guy. Beautiful little white flowers, all blooming like that. Outer petals are longer than the inner ones. Little yellow insides. Little stamen anthers poking up. Little toothed ends of the petals. See that? One, two, three, four. Little teeth there. This guy here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Here we got a lone jumping teddy bear cacti. Cylindropuntia bigelovii. And he's all fuzzy, you just want to give him a hug. Right, and he's a jumping teddy bear, he kind of jumps out at you. If you brush up against him, he'll just stick to your pants and a little stem will break off like this guy here. Hey, check out this selection of our desert trumpet, or alien desert trumpet. Right, he's our Aerogonum inflatum, because he likes to bulb up here. See that? Little bulb on the stem coming up. Pretty little flowers. So he starts here at this rosette down here at the ground. He sends out these long, fleshy stalks, and they split like here. A little alien. Look at these tiny little flowers there, a little bundle wow. right there. This is a great selection, but I love the way the bulb out here. See that? Little bottle stopper. Here, here, that bulb will get, you know, I don't know about that, that wide in diameter. This guy's fantastic. Wow, check out this barrel cactus. Holy smokes. It's a huge cluster. But over here, I want to show you, it's our creosote. I want to show you our little sea of lupins. Look at that. Arizona lupin. Lupinus. Arizonicus. Look at that beautiful flower stalk coming up there. Beautiful purple lavender flowers. You open them up and uh, see how it pops a little keel. Okay. A little stamen and anthers. And the top little petals there is called a banner. He's got that little white advertisement. Tell the pollinators, come on in. Lift up these uh, lower petals. Take a look at my little pollen anthers. These little palm-shaped leaves here, our leaflets. Wow, Arizona lupin. This guy here is a false mustard. Look at that guy. Beautiful. He's a eulobus. Here's another one of our lupins here. We got some over here. This guy here, he's a checker fiddle neck. See that? So the end of his little flower stalk looks like the neck of a fiddle. So they call him a fiddle neck. So he's from a our barrage family, like our facilias. And they'll turn over like that, like a little caterpillar or a scorpion's tail sometimes. Here we have a it. golden pygmy poppy, a Schultzia. He's related to our other poppies. You can tell by his little poppy-like leaves here. 
comes up these tiny little flowers that are closed up right now for the morning. Oh, this guy here. Take a look at him. Wow, he's a tiny little guy. This guy's not a... This little guy here, he's a fish hook cactus. See little spines here? Central spines are kind of shaped like little fish hooks. There's the one right there. See that? Little fish hooks on those long brownish central stems coming out of the aerial there. He's blooming. Look at that beautiful flower. Over here we have our little false mustard. Right, little pretty flowers here. This guy here is a woolly plantain. All right, this is where you get psyllium from. If you're uh, constipated, you make a tea or really just eat the leaves here and it helps with your constipation. He's a plantago genus, a woolly plantain. We've got some spurge up here and rock daisies. There's a little chuparosa. Look at that. Wow. This is a good looking plant, but they get a lot more full, big, beautiful, full one. I'm trying to find us a little more creosotes. For our mountains here, we might find a bighorn sheep, Ovis canadensis. They crossed over the Bering Strait. The uh, little ice land bridge like 750,000 years ago from Siberia. Check out this jumping teddy bear. Wow, he's this huge right in the middle of the trail. Got these wonderful acatillos here. Look at this, here. This guy here is starting to bloom. Here, all over the place. Of course, lots of creosotes. Here's some more of our jumping teddy bear. Cylindropuntia bigelovii. Hey, check out this guy here. It's beautiful. He's our desert lily. Check him out. Hesperocallus undulata. He's called undulata because this leaves here. See how they undulate like that? So he's been sending out leaves every year with no flowers, storing enough energy for a bulb down below. And this uh, winter we had a ton of rain, so he just comes up after a couple years. This fleshy stalk and these beautiful six petal flowers here. The lily flowers. Here's another desert lily. See, he's just these little undulating leaves that come out here. You gotta be careful where you walk. And then a little later on, gets that little flower stalk coming up. And over here, we get the amazing lily flowers. This guy here is our desert sand verbena, Ambronia viosa. Look at that beautiful cluster of purple. Flowers there. Wow. These little fleshy purple stems, a little bit hairy there. Little hairs. These beautiful soft ovate shaped leaves here on these long petioles. Look at that. Wow, check out this big barrel cactus. Look at that guy. Beautiful little flowers on top. Here's another woolly plantain. It's got the little flower stalks coming in, seed stalks. Over here, I got another barrel cactus for us. Take a look at this guy here. Wow, he's huge. He's probably, I don't know, three and a half feet tall. He's got these great yellow flowers. Look at that. All the good parts inside there. Little yellow pollen in there. Check that out. This guy here. He's a desert dandelion. So the big sure way, look for the little red spot right in the middle and little teeth edges of the petals. He's Malcothrix glabrata. Glabrata because he's hairless. He's got hairless stems here. He's a really common Asteraceae. All along the trail, lots of the same guys. Little false mustard. There's a little poppy here. Here's our woolly plantain. A little chicory right here. Rock daisy. Creosote. Here's our chuparosa. This guy's got a lot of leaves though. All right, they don't fall off yet. Oh, there's lots and lots of leaves here on this guy. Little hummingbird plant. And here's another Priscilla here. This guy, okay, 
little Choya coming in. Hey, check this out. We found a little jackrabbit bones. Got two bones here. Looks like a femur. This guy connects right in there. That little uh, orbital space. Little hip bone. And a little black-tailed jackrabbit can jackrabbit around the forest in the desert. That's pretty cool. We have some more Cretanthus, rock daisies. This guy here is our Mojave Desert Star. Check him out. Really tiny guy, way to the ground. Look at these little ray florets sticking out there. He's an Astraceae, so he's got the ray florets and the disc flowers in there. He's mixed in with this Spurge guy. That's not him. Move him over. Look at that pretty little flower here. Wow, Mojave Desert Star. He's always so low to the ground. Little purple herbaceous little stems and that branches out. Get these pretty little flowers at the ends. There's a whole bunch of our desert marigolds. Milocothrix lavrata. See that little red dot right in the center? Intermixed with our little poppies here too. And our rock daisies. Look at all these beautiful guys here. But here's a nice big cluster of these little desert dandelions. Right, here's our woolly plantain. This guy here is all woolly. He's got these little stock of flowers and seeds here. Look at that. Little desert dandelions. Red spot, not always. See, but um, when it has a red spot, that means that's who he is. Here we have a desert mushroom. Look at this guy coming out of the ground here. Little mushroom, fleshy. You pop the top here, all the seeds go flying out. Look at that. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. It's messy. Check out this cool little beaver tail. Little guy there. We got another one here. Another one here. Beautiful flowers. Wow. Got one here. Keep getting bigger and bigger. There's a little chicory. Here's another one here. That's really gorgeous. See how they kind of get a little more wrinkled up? They're dried up. These guys, unbelievable. Look at that. Beautiful. Here we got another jumping teddy bear cactus. This guy here is gone. Look at his little trunk here, his stem. See how hollow it is? Look at that inside. Wow. This guy here. So you take these trunks or the stems, you kind of cleave them together. Sometimes you make a little pipe out of them. Here we have a western jimson weed. Little hairy thorn apple right there. Right, he's a sacred datura. Datura ridei. We found them all along the roadsides like Interstate 10 all the way up to Texas, even down to Florida. He's got these flower blooms here. This guy's all spent. See, nothing left on him. But he only opens up in the early morning, overcast days. So he's all closed up for us right now because it's really sunny. This guy here, he's flowering a little bit. See if he can see his tube-shaped flowers here. Our little jimson weed. Sacred Datura. It's called a thorn apple. See that? A thorny fruit or a hairy thorn apple. Sometimes we call them that. So right in the middle of the wash, we have this beautiful desert lavender. Look at this guy. Wow. He just feels so soft. Look how tall he is. He's doing great out here. Loves it out in this wash. Pretty little light green leaves, a little bit wavy, kind of wedge shaped. He's got like, he's really sticky like and upright. Turns a little softer grayish, but his newer bark is like this. He's got these striations, little striations leading up the stems. Some more over here. Desert lavender here. All right. 
And they don't smell as potent as your lavender at home. Let's see. Yeah, you know, they smell pretty good. Make a little potpourri out of these guys. But he's absolutely beautiful. Look how light colored he is. That's how he survives out here. Some of the best survivors are light colored or glaucus instead of dark green. That way they help reflect the heat, save on water evaporation, transpiration. Hey, now here's our desert indigo bush, Sorothamnus, which means scraggly bush in Greek. Look at this guy, it's a little smoky look. He's got older, lighter branches and newer green branches. Look at that. He's really stiff. He's not thorny, but his old stems get really sharp here. Tiny, tiny little leaves. But the best part of these little indigo flowers here, check them out, look like little snapdragons. This guy here, you see a little bit of his anthers sticking up there with the pollen. If you're lucky, you could open them up. And um, a little snapdragon. See what's inside? That guy's opened up a little bit for us. See that? Little indigo bush. This little guy here, he's called a chia. He's a salvia, a true sage, but you wouldn't know it by looking at his leaves here. They're not very sage-like, but he's a sage. He grows up like a, kind of like a black sage. He's got this little whorl of flowers here. Another one on top. Little velvety, bluish, tiny little flowers there. Look at that. This guy's got three. One, two. Three. This guy here, he's a desert sunflower. He looks like all our other little yellow flowers. He grows from a little basil rosette. His stems come out and they branch up. But this guy here has this broad yellow center. Right? So a lot of the ray florets. He's an Asteraceae. So ray florets on the outside, disc flowers in the middle. But he's all yellow. And there's no spots inside. There's no fancy colors. So that's why you know he's a uh, desert sunflower instead of other guys like the marigolds or the, the desert daisies. Right inside our little washer. Check out how beautiful this is. Here we have a chuparosa here. All of our shrubs, our creosotes. Here's a brittle bush. He's flowering. Jojoba. Rock daisies. We have our desert sambarbina. These guys are wonderful. Look how beautiful. Cryptantha here. Wow. Up here we got more uh, jojoba here. Brittle bush. Here's our Arizona lupines here, or lupins. A little sorothamnus here. Might be an indigo bush here. A little chicory coming in. A little pygmy poppy. This place is just a super bloom. Wow, little phacelias here coming in. Look at that barrage. Got that little kind of caterpillar scorpion tail here. Here's our desert lavender out in the wash. Some more here. Got a butterfly, he's looking around. Here we got a Real big poppy. Look at that guy. It's a gold poppy. The Schultzia here. He's a big one. So we got the pygmy poppies and the. Look at that guy. Look up over here. He's huge. Oh. oh, look at these guys. Wow. Lepus californica. There they go. Little jackrabbits. Black tailed jackrabbit. How about that? These guys here are all agaves. It's a desert agave, agave desertii. And they're called century plants, so they bloom once in their life, big flower stalk, and they die like this guy here, and they fall to the ground. Look at that, he's got these real thick, dense leaves come out of the rosette in the ground. They're super thorny, you see that? And they always have this little vein up the back here, another vein here, all the way to the top to this super sharp point. All right, so we made it to the end of Bow Willow, out to this beautiful canyon. I believe this is Bow Willow Gorge, or Wash. Wow, 
beautiful. Look at these mountains and hillsides. So we followed all along the side of the hills, and for the life of me, we could not find a single turnoff for the Bow Willow Groves where the California fan palms are. So maybe they're on that rock, but we're not going to go there. We're going to head down this way out here along the trail, the old stagecoach trail, down to the uh, Rock Roadhouse. And hopefully I'll find that. We see lots of cool plants all along the way. We got tons of these desert lilies all coming up here. Look at that. They've been just waiting for years and years just for the right rain. Just to come up like this. Look at that. Little desert lily. Hesprocallus undulata. Wow. Check out this huge forest of jumping teddy bear cacti. Wow. It's all over the place. Amazing. Cylindropuntia bigelovii. Or Biglow's Choya. Here's a whole bunch of gold poppies coming in. Isn't that pretty? Look how tall they are on those little thin stalks. It's a great looking beaver tail cactus here. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, six of them all together. Look at that. Fantastic. Opuntia basilaris. A little beaver tail. Here's the bottom of Bow Willow Creek. It's all gritty. You know, sandy down here. Look at that. Got all the same little critter bushes growing down here. Look at this guy. Little desert star. Look at that guy. He's got these pointed ray florets. A little bit there. Little yellow centers. Wow. This little guy here is called a Spanish needle. Got these tight little cluster of flowers all wrapped in the little filleries and bracts here. Look at that. Purple stem. We got another one here. All right, Spanish needle. Here we have another desert trumpet, Aragonum inflatum. Here's another chia. See this guy's turning purple? Instead of all green, it's got that purple whorl here. See that? Beautiful, beautiful little flowers. This guy here. This little lava rock looks like obsidian. Look at that. Kind of like what you find over at Salton Sea. Get some water on him. It's all black and shiny. Look at that. Yeah, this is a, I'm pretty sure this is obsidian from our molten hot magma from thousands of feet under the earth. Like you find Salton Sea, which is right over the hill here. Wow, very cool. Hey, this is a great find. All the way out here in Bow Willow. This guy here, he's called a five spot. Take a look at there. I don't hurt him. But inside he's got five little red spots. That's why he's called a five spot. This red flower stem. These pretty little leaves. Kind of open them up there. Can you see that? Wow. This little orange mess here growing on our beautiful creosote. He's called Chaparral Daughter. He's a parasite. He's got no chlorophyll, no leaves, nothing going on. He just kind of embeds in the stems and sucks uh, all the nutrients out of our beautiful plants. But he does have leaves that are reduced way down to tiny little scales. I don't even think you'd see him on this little twine here. Hey, check out this five spot. Look at that. He's a big guy. He's opened up a little more for us to see his little five spots in him. Wow. Anyway, look at that. This guy's going to seed here. See that? He's going to seed. He opened up. Here we got two little birds up here. They look like morning doves. The spotted doves. Can't tell. We'll get really, really close to them and find out. 
There we go. One. Wow, look at the colors on this smoke tree. Sorothamnus spinosus or spinosus. You can say it either way. Wow, just all this smoky color. He's got no leaves on him though. Oh, tiny, tiny leaves. Look at that. Right there. But they all tend to fall off. They're not very long lived. Here's our chuparosa here. And all this junk down here. That's all Sahara mustard. See that? And I'll throw them out here. You can get a look, good look at them. See, Sahara mustard. He's got these long mustard like basil leaves, green stem, little long seed pods here. And he's a darker green than a lot of our plants, which kind of tells you he doesn't belong up here. And this is the road here. It goes down to Route 2, heads up this way to the Bow Willow. Hey, Camp this down. is pretty cool. This is our yellow variety of our brown-eyed evening primrose, Chylosmia claviformis. And here is the white variety, or we'll call them more of a pinkish variety. So he's the same flower, but he kind of grows a different color, kind of depending on his environmental conditions. So up here, up by Bow Willow, usually have yellow here and Doscobasis. And the other side of the park, a little more north, you got this whitish, pinkish guy. But together, look at that. Brown-eyed evening primrose, Chylismia claviformis. It's called a Pearson's brown-eyed evening primrose. That's his variety. He's this little short-lived perennial or annual spreading herbaceous wildflower. Check this out. This is a desert tortoise burrow. Look at that. And this is freshly dug out. A lot of times they're backfilled, so this fellow is probably wandering around out here. Maybe we'll find him. The desert tortoise. There's a beautiful acatillo. Hey, look at this. He's got flowers for us, too. Check this out. Beautiful little flowers there. Look at that. It's for our hummingbirds. Wow, just sticking up there, little stamen, anther, pollen. Beautiful, beautiful crimson. Super spiny. The spines are always right under the leaves here. See that? So if you grab this guy, you'll stick to him. It's got a lot of flower buds here. Ah, <sighs> he's probably about 10 feet tall. Coming down. There's our Akatillo, Fuchiaria splendens. That's his name. She's so showy. All right, so that's our little hike around Bow Willow up to the palm groves we didn't find and the rock house. We walked all the way around the whole backside, all the way out here, so we missed the rock house too. Anyway, there's lots of videos on that out there. You watch yourself. Okay, little western gypsum weed here. Chogas. There's Sahara mustard. It looks horrible. All right, cheese bush. This is, uh, I believe, an indigo bush. All right, smoke tree, smoke bush. So this is a perfect little place to come camp out in Bow Willow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video and watching it, taking the time. Please click like, subscribe, share, all the rest. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.